Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to load customer dimension which is a SCD type 2 dimension into our data lake house. There will be slight changes between SCD1 and SCD type 2 load. I'll recommend you to go back and watch our previous videos if you have not seen the SCD type 1 loads. On my screen you can see we have a customer source file which have few columns as mentioned. The file naming convention for the data file would be customer underscore run date dot csv. We have our customer dimension on the right hand side. As you can see, the name is split into first name and last name. We have rest all relevant columns as it is. Other than that, we have few audit columns which are necessary for SCD type 2 dimensions. Effective start date, effective end date, active flag, insert date and update date. We will do the necessary transformations that are required to load the customer source file into the customer dimension. I am into my Jupyter Lab environment. As usual, we will see the run date as 2022-0101. Let's validate the data file. We will go into data sets, customer and see the full load data file which is customer underscore 2022-0101.csv. Once we open the file, we can see all the relevant columns present in the file. In my AWS account, I have placed the same file under the landing customer folder. As usual, we have created three IPython notebooks for each layer, landing, staging and dimension load. We are inside the customer landing IPython notebook. As usual, this notebook is similar to the notebooks that we have used for SCD1 load. The table full name is here. We have the landing file name as customer underscore run date dot csv. This is the path where we have placed the landing file for customer. We are reading the csv file and processing the same. In the end, we are writing the data in the landing layer and archiving the landing file using the archiving utility that we created for Go to 3. We are updating the control log and we are generating the simulink manifest file. This is the customer staging IPython notebook. We have few changes in this notebook. We will go through the changes one by one. First, we are importing the required libraries. We have the landing table as edwld dim customer ld, which we will load in the landing layer. We'll get the max timestamp and use that to read the landing table using the insert date greater than the timestamp for max timestamp. Next, we will dedupe the data and before writing the data into the final layer, we will do the necessary transformation which includes splitting the name into first name and last name, restructuring the date of birth to proper date, using the coalesce function to replace the null values of plan type to NA, populating the effective start date as current timestamp, effective end date as the high date. We are marking the active flag as 1 and the other audit columns insert date and update date are pointed to current timestamp. We will write this data in the staging layer in overwrite mode. Finally updating the job control and generating the simlink manifest. This is the customer dimension ipython notebook. We would be reading the staging table dim customer stg. Once we read the data from the staging table, we will generate the surrogate key using the UUID UDF method, which will help us to generate unique row widths every time. We'll add three more columns, history record end date, history record active flag and history record update date, which will help us to end the previous history records. For history record end date, we will use effective start date timestamp and subtract one second from it, which will be used by the history record end timestamp. For history record active flag, we are pointing it as 0. For history record update date, that would be the current timestamp. This dimension temp data frame would be used in our delta table manipulation. Now we will load our data into the SCD type 2 table, for which we will first validate if the data is a full load or not. If it is a full load, we are going to delete and vacuum the delta table. Next is to update the history records that are present in the dimension table for which we have changed. To identify the change, we will use customer ID which is the natural key 
and we will check the history records which are active. Once we identify the history records which are active, we will update the history records end date with the history record end timestamp that we generated in our previous set. Similarly, the active flag and the update flag. Once the history records are updated, now we will go ahead and insert our new records that we have from the source. Once this load is complete, we have already completed our SCD2 load. We will generate the required metrics, update the job control log, and generate the simulac manifest file. As usual, to trigger all three notebooks, I have created one custom notebook that we will use to trigger landing, staging, and dimension notebook one by one. Let's trigger the landing notebook. The landing layer data load is complete. The file is properly archived and we have also Simlink manifest file generated. Let us trigger the staging load now. The data load for staging layer is also complete. Let's trigger the final layer, the dimension. The customer dimension load is also complete. The Simlink manifest file is generated. We see the input records is 18, which is the number of records that we have in our landing layer and in the landing file. Let's go ahead and validate the data. As you can see, the data is properly populated in the dimension layer. We have row width, which is the surrogate key, customer ID, first name, which is splitted from name, last name, which is also splitted from name. We have address, city, and other columns. We also have the required audit columns, which are effective start date and effective end date, active flag, run date, insert date, and update date. Let's stop the Spark session now. Today we completed the customer dimension loop, which is a SCD type 2 dimension. In the next video, we will see the remaining dimension and fact loads. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.